Now let's move on to the delivery process. The delivery process is pretty straightforward. We'll go back into active deliveries and we'll go down. There are two ways to reach the delivery screen. Either click on proceed to delivery on the pickup page or just select orders. So for every order that you're going to attempt, press in transit. This sends out a message to the customer that their delivery is about to be attempted. Always make sure that you take two drop off pictures. Once one to show the house number or the building number, basically anything that can, can be used to identify if the delivery was made at the right address and second picture to identify where the package was left. Uh, I will just take a random picture for the training and hit OK. After you upload the first picture, you might have to wait for a few seconds before you can take the next picture. After it says uh, successfully uploaded or you see a tick mark on your drop off picture, you can open the camera again to take another picture. We'll select OK. After you have uploaded both the pictures, we'll proceed with the delivery and do a drop off scan. And we'll scan the same barcode that we scanned while picking up the order. And it says scan successful. Now, the final, uh, the fourth step is to take a signature from the customer in case it's required for a package. In most cases, it will not be. And you will see this signature field grayed out. In case it's not grayed out, that means you have to take a signature and uh, because of the pandemic, we don't recommend handing your phone to the customer for a physical signature, but you can make sure that you give the package to the customer in their hands and ask for their name so that you can put that down in the signature field. In most cases, you will not need a signature and you can just simply select mark delivered to end your delivery. Now, what happens in case a delivery cannot be completed? 